welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So, our traffic is still a little bit backed up. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the roundabout system. They're, if we pay attention to the traffic, they kind of slow down around here to make that turn, right? So, I'm almost wondering if we really need the roundabout at all because they're all just kind of going directly onto this road and directly off of this road, right? So maybe we can do something that we did similar to here, only make it a little bit more um, straight. Now I want to actually experiment with this one because it's not as busy and I want to see if I can actually make it a little bit more um, like closer together and we'll see if we can't mimic something that we'll do over on that side a little bit later. So we'll see if we can't bring this to here. That should work actually because if we watch this guy go that way, he should be able to... He still sort of slows down, but then it's a slower road too, right? So, maybe it's just that. So, all off ramp and then they slow down. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. So, maybe it's also because they're coming off of the highway onto the road that's causing the congestion. Um, though it's pretty steady on that side. It's actually slower around here. So, it might be a combina combination of the... Um, oh, what is it? The turn that like 90 degree turn here. Well, it's almost 90 and the slow, slower road as well as just being generally backed up from a whole bunch of people coming in. I think that might be really what it breaks down to at this point because there's no other connections. Um, all the highway connections for the industry areas over here. So you don't really need to worry about that part and it's not backed up okay it's a little backed up over here there might be a light though so we could always fix that by removing the light um yeah it's probably best to remove the light there let's go ahead and do that so we need to go click on that little arrow icons junctions remove that light remove the stop sign as well We'll do the same on this side. Uh, usually fixes the issue. And um, there is light over here. Uh, we'll see if...
So what I ended up doing was I connected that um, highway system directly up to the like a small roundabout. Well, not roundabout. Like I removed the roundabout completely, and then I just set up the um, intersection so they can go directly down the um, avenue. And it seems to have fixed the traffic issue. So roundabouts are apparently not always the best solution. Uh, Apparently, so obviously that was the only thing that it changed. Um, I'm not sure if the reason was because it's a lot smoother transition onto the thing or what, but if we look down, um, say we go down here, we can see that I've just kind of left a two lane uh, thing so they can merge down into a one lane. Uh, we could even technically bring it up a little bit more, but it should give them enough room to merge into one. And then this this one right here just goes kind of like around and then they just pick their lane and they go around up and then out. So it works. And then we also got the tram system to go this way. The tram entrance is now here, not over here. There's no roundabout for the tram over here. So now what we can do is we can set two different lines going opposite directions. So hopefully that will allow transit to get a little bit faster to their destinations based on the direction that they need to go so rather than just go up and down and have one line that's not really too efficient if you think about it because not only does it have to go all the way this way to get to the thing but it has to come all the way back right so and then you have the stops on either side so then you you get congestion and you have to wait for the tram and stuff like that where this would have two separate lines going opposite directions so it would be way more faster because then it has two different directions that it's going so that's the idea at least uh we'll set up the tram lines right now and we'll hope for the best i guess at least uh so we'll probably put the tram line we'll start with this direction first and we'll put the, another one right over here uh can't put it on the bridge but we can put one over here put another one over here and maybe one right there this goes all the way over here. We haven't set up a connection point for the industry area just yet. But we'll do one over here and then I think it goes over into the public area that I'm working on. So we'll set up like a few stops along this line here. And one right there and then we'll connect it back up to here. And then we can do the opposite direction, so just a matter of lining the stops up with the other stops.
have a second issue now. So we have a lot of incoming traffic from this section over here, but um, this junction is pretty much just at its capacity. So we might need to put a roundabout in here. Um, this is actually probably the time for a roundabout, not so much one for an intersection. I don't really think that really helps too much too much when it comes down to the thing because they still have generally one direction that they're going right if you think about it like when they come in they're not going to really go around and around and around until they get to the the thing they're just going to come on to the road and directly on it doesn't make sense why you would need a roundabout per se at the exit unless you had a whole bunch of connections like what we did over on this side this works because there's all these connections from the different angles and stuff. So that makes sense because it works that way, right? Um, this has absolutely no congestion whatsoever. And then you have situations like this where I think it could possibly use a roundabout because if you put a light in, then it delays it for all angles, stop signs, and it starts to back up that way. So, yeah, we might need to put a roundabout into here. So let's try to move some of this stuff around for the time being. Um, I'm going to need to move the bike lanes and a few other things. Uh, we might even need to move a little bit of that, but we'll see what we can come up with. Um, that will probably have to be moved for the time being until we can at least sort out the intersection. And we'll go ahead and delete a couple of these. And we'll see if we can't um, get a one way. I wonder if there's like a three lane road. Yeah, there is. So we could do a three lane road like that. We're gonna need all these on. Kind of align that with that. And I'm gonna go out to. Probably the first one right here. Just just enough to uh, get the roundabout in. I don't know how it's going to work for traffic, but we'll try it. And then we'll connect all those back up once we have the uh, roads hooked up. So we'll go like that.
so we got most of the traffic under control now so at least the incoming traffic the outgoing traffic well some of the outgoing traffic is a little bit congested on these this side here um we could probably with do uh with a roundabout in this section we might be able to fit that in because we have that uh child daycare thing here and doesn't look like there's too much other things around. We have a parking lot and a um, Asian garden thing, so we might be able to fit that a, a small roundabout here just so that traffic kind of um, flows a little bit better. And it, I think it's mainly because it's so close to the intersection that it's causing a little bit of backup. So that's probably what's going on. Um, with this one, we could probably put another one in as a precaution, and I don't think we need one on the ends per se, but that should help. And this one's just basically a dead end, so it just goes into this avenue. Uh, here, I don't expect so much traffic per se. Uh, we have this little area over here. We might be able to fit something in there, but you know, overall, I think this is going to be a pretty quiet road for the most part. Um, the important thing is traffic isn't so much congested at the moment with the incoming traffic. So we got that part sorted out. It's just a matter of fixing some of these little nooks that are still a problem. And I think with a little bit of couple roundabouts, like we sorted out this issue, uh, just small ones. We don't need huge ones. Um, even just a singular road, not even a highway would do just fine. So I think adding that would probably do just fine for that little section here. And there's not that much traffic going down to this way, so it's mainly just this one intersection. Um, but outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.